Good afternoon everyone welcome to Chris's Southern Home Tours and today we are exploring what they call the Matterhorn from I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly but yes this is a I believe this is a three bedroom two bath double wide it's got hardy forward all the way around I like that beautiful blue color paint to it I like that Really nice. This is the back side of the home. And right now, that's what we're looking at. We're looking at right here, you got your water spigot out here. You got you plenty of windows. You got your nice sliding glass door right here. And another actual back door. Huh, that's kind of neat. You got your outlet got your uh, dryer vent this will also be where your uh, piping and water connections and everything would be at it would be more likely on this side I'm over here at Cabco Mobile Homes again I do not work for them this is in Lumberton Texas So I'm trying to get a good little aerial view of it, or not aerial, but a more outside view of it. Where y'all can get a better better look at it. Yeah, here we are right off the you know, highway. And this is it. Real nice. Yeah. It's pretty loud out here on this highway. As you can see, the front you got plenty of natural light, natural lighting throughout this home. I mean, man, look at that front door. Yeah. All right, everyone. Remember, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please feel free to do so. Smash that like button. And we're about to go on inside and check this sucker out. How about that, huh? All right, y'all ready? Let's do it. As soon as you walk in the front door, this is what you got. Let's see if they have any kind of lights in here. I'm not sure they do or not. I don't think this one has electricity in it, but. Wow, it's a really nice home. You got your, uh, I like that ceiling. Get your black beams right there, black wooden beams. Really, really nice, nicely done in here. I like the crown molding. Look at that. That's pretty nice. A little drop me table right here. You can put your keys down at, you know, and all your you know, your wallets and purses, whatever. I mean, I probably wouldn't clutter that up, but yeah. Right in front of you, you got the uh, your dining room and your kitchen right there. Don't worry about that little spot right there in the middle. That would not be here once it's actually fully set up. Again, this home is not trimmed out, so. You got a perfect spot right over there for your TV. And this home has uh, the vents in the ceiling.
And now we're checking out that kitchen. You got a good sized little diner, little island right here. You can probably fit two, maybe three bar stools on. I like how the cabinets go. Look at that. I mean, that's really nice. Stainless steel appliances all throughout. All frigid air. Yeah. I like that backsplash all the way around us. Ooh, that's real tall, too. Yeah, real tall. Again, this is the Materhorn. If I'm not saying that correctly, maybe I'm not pronouncing it right, but yeah. Um, if, I'm, if I'm not pronouncing it right, just uh, drop me a comment down below. Tell me what, you know, how, how do y'all pronounce it? Got plenty of cabinet space, plenty of counter space. Oh, look at that sink. I like that. You know, see how it's the sink isn't overlaying on top of the counter. That's real nice. That's real. That's real granite. That's a real granite countertop. I like that. see a pantry in here yet. I'm sure we'll see one. I like those cabinets, man. Those cabinets are really nice. And usually I'm not a big fan of the cabinets that have the, uh, that have the gap above it. But I like the, um, that's really nice because you can hardly even tell that there's a gap between the cabinets and the ceiling. Really nice. Very spacious dining room area. It looks like this is going to be finished sheetrock throughout as well. Got you a decent little linen closet right here. So you got your uh, wooden dowel rod right there. Just coming off that wire rack. All right. So coming down the hallway. Let's check this one out. All right. So. First room off to the right is your guest bathroom. I like that cabinet. You got his and her sinks, double square porcelains. You got your framed in mirrors. Look at this. That's pretty cool. That's good to have. Get you plenty of shelving in here for towels and stuff. Really nicely done. Real nice. And this is a separate door. So that would be your wet closet pretty much. You got your toilet. Plenty of natural lighting in here. That's for, man, that definitely made a difference in the lighting. And you got your single piece tub and shower combo right here. Really nice. Like that shower head. That's a good looking shower head right there too. Ain't like just a little plain chain. You got your curved curtain rod right there. Oh yeah. This is a really nice home. What do y'all like about it? What y'all think? Looking pretty good, huh? Alright. So as soon as we come out of the bathroom, we'll cross the hallway. Got your laundry room. 
There's that back door. Man, it's a spacious laundry room. I like how it's got its own doorway too. You can close it off, hide all your dirty laundry. And this is where your furs would be. I like that. You don't see that very often where you have, it's a double door, you know, access to your furnace and stuff. But you got your furnace or your air handler right here. And right next to it, you got your water heater, which is really helpful to have like this. You got your double doors, you know, to where you can you can easily, it's easy accessible. And, you, and if you ever need to do any work on it or service it or anything like that, it's very, very easy to get to. You got a perfect little spot right here to put a little chest freezer in. Real nice. This is a very spacious laundry room. You got your laundry, your washer and dryer hookups right here. And you got your nice shelving above for your uh, laundry detergent. And you got another space right here behind the door, which is could be another spot for like a freezer maybe, you know, or, or maybe even some shelving. All right, so we can come out of there and walk right back across the hallway into the first guest bedroom. Yeah, this is a really big bedroom. It's definitely not small. I like that floor. I like the floor in here. It's really nice. You got you a good size closet right here. It looks like it was a walk in. Yeah. That's a walk in closet. Really spacious. Don't forget, if y'all liking the video so far, go ahead and Smash that like button for me, if you don't mind. It really helps out the channel. I really appreciate the love, everybody. Yeah. Really spacious home here. I really like this. This is the Mater Horn again. And so far, yep, I was correct. It is a three bedroom, two bath. This is your second guest bedroom at the end of the hallway. Again, this one has some Nice windows in here too for good natural lighting. Now you get a little idea of how big the room is. Look at that. Really spacious. If you, had, if you have four kids like I do, you can easily have two of them share a room. And rooms like this are just right. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, you're not cramping them up. You know, we're practically sleeping on top of each other. But yeah, that's the uh, walk-in closet. I think this side walk-in closet right there, real nice. Oh, damn. It's a really nice home. All right, so now we're coming out of that last bedroom. Let's go ahead and head on down there to that other side right there and go check out that master bedroom. What do y'all say? Um, this is really nice. I like the way they kind of got it set up in here. Is you got a whole lot of furniture or decorations in here, but it's actually pretty nice. Really good. Pretty well done. All right, and then you got your first closet. Right here, this is like a little linen closet, yep. Or you can make that your pantry. What would y'all do? Y'all make that y'all's pantry? Right here? That's probably what I would do. I would probably make it a pantry. Real nice, you got lots of shelving in there. So I'm guessing that would, that's, I'm guessing that's what it would be. And this is the master bedroom. Now this, Room. It's definitely not small. 
anyway. Look at that. That's freaking crazy. That's big ass arm, right? There you go. I like that bathroom door. You got the little barn, barn style door. Check it out. Oh, yeah. Close that off. I like that. That's really nice. Yeah, plenty of natural lighting in here too. See, I mean, that's that's what I'm talking about, man. That, that natural lighting, all the windows around are put in perfect spots throughout the home in each bedroom for that perfect natural lighting. Where you're not using a whole bunch of electricity. You know, you can easily see. Yeah, y'all see that? Look at that. That's really nice. Now this, is a glamour bathroom. Got your standalone tub right here. Real nice. Got your three shelvings right there. You got a good transom window above it. Perfect for natural lighting. And then this is your his and her sinks. Really nice. Very well decorated in here. This bathroom is pretty spacious too, as you can tell. So I'm like over here by the, uh, on the other side of the uh, tub pretty much. And this is all the room you got. It's a pretty big room. All right, before I show y'all that in the shower, I'm gonna show y'all this. So this is your, that's your closet. And you got, I like that window that's in the closet. It's perfect for natural lighting right throughout the day. So if you get up in the morning, it's daylight outside already or something. You gotta turn on the lights, man. Save that energy, bill. All right. Now, you got your toilet area right there. You got plenty of windows in this bathroom. You ain't gotta worry about no lighting in here. And then this, is your walk-in shower. Yeah, that is nice. That is really spacious. Check them out, y'all. <clears throat> so I'm standing in the corner of it. And this is it. You ain't got no shower head on there right now, but oh yeah, you get the right idea. Drop me down, comment down there and tell me what y'all think of the home. What's y'all's favorite part of this house? Is it the bathroom? Or the kitchen? Or is it the spacious living room? Or is it just the whole layout of the home? Alright everybody. Again. Thank you for touring with Chris's Southern Home Tours. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please feel free to do so. And smash that like button. Hit that little bell icon for more notifications for whenever we come out with new videos and contents like this. Uh, we tr I try to put out new videos every week. Um, sometimes I get a little behind. But, uh, yeah. Oh, and uh, I also, I am possibly going to be trying to, soon in the near future, going to start touring some uh, RVs and some uh, storage buildings. So if y'all would be interested in something like that, just follow me on this, uh, on this channel for right now, and then I'll give y'all a little bit more of an update of what I'm going to be doing soon. And what the other channels are going to be called. If I'm going to put them, I might even put them, some of them on this channel for right now. Just to 
see what y'all think. But yeah. Really nice home. Really nice. All right, everybody. Well, I hope y'all have a blessed weekend. Enjoy that. And I will see you on the next one. All right. Bye.